Hello, this is Kid Cabell, one of the co-founders of Veracity and Defiance. We're filming the DNC convention here in Philadelphia, and I'm here with... Oscar Salazar. All right, where are you from, and uh, why are you here? I'm from New York, and I'm here for Bernie. All right, so what drew you into the Bernie Sanders campaign specifically? Why do you want to support him, or why did you support him during this pri uh, DNC primary? Because he's bringing all the grass movements together. We're going to stick together, and we're going to keep pushing for aggressive ideas. All right, and that's why you uh, support Bernie Sanders or supported Bernie Sanders, because he, uh, he represented your views and you believe in togetherness? Exactly, and he's been fighting for the same things for the, since the beginning. He's been saying the same things. Like if you look up a speech back then, he said the same ideas and progressive uh, platform that he's been fighting for his whole life. He's on the right side of history and he's going to stay on the right side of history. Do you feel that he made a mistake by endorsing uh, Hillary Clinton during the DNC convention on Monday? No, actually he did not. I respect what he did and he did it because he wants to make sure Donald Trump doesn't become president. So you, you believe that the reason why uh, Bernie Sanders is supporting Hillary Clinton is because Donald Trump, uh, he's afraid of a Trump presidency. But don't you think that uh, in many ways Sanders supporters feel a little bit betrayed by you know, him endorsing Hillary Clinton after everything that the DNC has done? Yeah, I understand. The corruption, it was all against them. It was rigged against them. And I expect that the Bernie supporters are betrayed. I'm betrayed. I'm cheated. But I'm still going to keep fighting. I'm not going to give up on him. I'm not gonna, and he's not going to give up on us. So... Do you feel that the DNC might have made a uh, tactical error in regards to um, voting for Hillary Clinton, even though it's recent polling data is showing her losing terribly to Donald Trump? See, this is where the delegates come through. This is where they're supposed to vote for the best candidate against the Republican Party. And this is where they should have used their vote for voting for the right, honest candidate. And that was Ber uh, Bernie, who beats with a huge margin against Trump every every poll. It's amazing. Do you think that uh, Hillary Clinton has a chance to defeat Donald Trump, or do you think the division between uh, uh, DNC and Bernie Sanders supporters is uh, too uh, deep to, to heal? Right now, there's more tr there's more people against Trump, and I I feel that she can actually no, she can definitely beat him because I know there's more people that's gonna stand up against Trump, and there's more movements against him, a more a movements against him. So, right now. Um, Americans both view Trump and Clinton as the most despised presidential candidates in U.S. history. Do you think that this could leave a rise to a third party candidate like Dr. Jill Stein or Gary Johnson? Yes, that's what I believe. And uh, it shouldn't have to come down to lesser two evils. You want to vote for someone and uh, voting for someone, you want to lean toward, I'm leaning towards uh, Jill Stein right now. I don't want to vote against Donald Trump. I, don't, I Actually, I want to vote against Donald Trump. I'm voting against Hillary Clinton. But right now, she's going to earn my vote. She's going to earn my support. And right now, she's not. So I I believe that it shouldn't be it should be bigger than the two-party system. I believe there should be third party, which is Jill, and there's fourth party, the Libertarian Party, because we need to have more say in the base stage. Now, do you, uh, you know, we all know what's wrong with a Trump presidency at this moment. But what concerns you as a potential uh, a voter about a Clinton administration, about a Clinton presidency. What concerns you about a Clinton presidency? That right now they're pandering to the voters. They're gonna show that they're gonna be uh, pushing for their ideas. The one thing I'm more concerned about is the TPP because they they have, they're not banning it. They're not they're not getting rid of it. It's still around. So they got we gotta get the Democratic Party needs to get on top of that. So and uh, I feel they should and they gotta keep pushing. All right and. How do you feel about in regards to uh, Bernie Sanders supporters feeling vindicated after the email leaks showed that you know the DNC was working with uh, the Clinton campaign? How does that make you feel? Betrayed, cheated, and uh, I feel awful because I, all my hard work, all I've been canvassing for Bernie, and uh, I have, I feel that we we had a really good chance if it came fairly, if it came, was really fairly, and the whole system was you know right, and that there was no like cheating or any rigged and. It would have been it would have been a Bernie in the end. All right, and if you had a chance to speak to the super delegates, the Democratic establishment, and both Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders delegates, what would you say to them right now? I would say to the delegates, make your stand. Say what you have to say. You have a voice in what you want in the Democratic Party. And I say to Bernie Sanders, I respect you, and I'm going to continue with your movement no matter what. Thank you. This is Kid Cabell from uh, Veracity and Defiance filming the DNC convention here in Philadelphia. Thank you so much for your time, man. Good time.